Hello YouTube, my name is Gabriel, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at a um, stress analysis in Autodesk Inventor. So you can go ahead and create a part. You can see I'm already on part four. I've been messing around already. But let's go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and look, take a look at this. Sorry if my voice is a little bit weird, but yeah. So first, let's go ahead and create a part. And we'll just start a simple 2D sketch. Go to X Y plane. We'll do a five by five, and let's go ahead and extrude it at we'll just say a hundred inches. All right, <coughs> go ahead and highlight it. Go to material. Why is it? Oh, sorry about that. And I'm going to do ABS plastic, something like you would use in a 3D printer. Uh, you don't need to mess around with that. So say you wanted to 3D print this, ABS plastic. Go over to environments, stress analysis, create study. <coughs> I generally turn my tolerances to zero. But, you know, that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother time. Everything else is good. I'm not going to name it just because I don't care. Um, yeah, bonded, I guess, work. You can just read these. It's pretty self-explanatory. But bonded works for me. Alright. I'm actually going to make it mesh just for simplicity, but, you know. Alright, so now we need to come over here and, um, actually, gravity. I'm going down like this. There we go. So that's gravity. So that's like, as if this was just sitting here and it was being pushed down. Alright, how many pounds of force are we going to do? Um, I say 100 pounds of force, just because. And I'm actually going to come up down here. Apply. Okay, next out of that, we need to create uh, a fixed constraint right here. Go ahead and hit apply. And I'm going to do another constraint there. Apply. So it's a, that was if, like, you had a wall right here and right here. And it was, like, screwed in or something. I don't know. But these are fixed. These cannot move. And, actually. Yeah. All right. So that's about, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and simulate it. Uh, run. And here we go. This will show us everything, like all our information. And you can see, you know, kind of just match up the colors, if you will. But when you put 100 pounds of pressure going up like this, this is what happens. You can kind of see it kind of highlights right here, the original. Go back to mesh view. You can kind of see where it went. And if you want, Let's go all right let's do force let's do a thousand and we'll do it in the same direction no oh. force we do a thousand pounds of force this direction apply Make sure we go ahead and get our constraints. All right, apply and simulate. So, thousand pounds of force are seeing pretty much the same thing. Um, of course, this isn't a perfect scenario, but 
yeah, that is a constraint. It's been about five minutes. I have time to go long. I want to keep these videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.